in full stack development you know one part of it is front end that is what you're going to be studying in module 2 so here you're going to be learning html you'll be learning css you'll be learning react okay that's the that's the hottest technology currently in the market and this will continue to be the hottest technology for the next 4 5 years without fail i don't know what will happen after 5 years but at least for the next 5 years react is going to be ruling the market no doubt about it along with react there's something called as redux if you want to enter the industry you are only considered as a react developer if you know how to work with redux okay both of them go hand in hand if you are using only react you can build small projects but if you are using redux you will be able to build big projects okay in companies in software companies they are building big projects so they will be using redux or the alternatives to redux but the industry standard is redux you will also learn about that and then you will learn bootstrap so these are all the things that you will be learning in the module 2 of the program so during this time what will happen we will be learning how to create user interfaces okay and people will be able to relate to this much better because whatever they are doing they are able to see the output live on the screen so you write some code you are able to see the output on the browser so people get that excitement and that energy of doing more of front end okay so that is what is going to happen well during this time you are be solving both assignments but here it will be real time assignments around 50 plus real time react scenarios you will be solving you will be understanding the concepts and then you will also be solving these assignments this is real time scenarios like what you will learn how to create a login and registration screen you will learn how to do client side validation you will learn how to upload photos and then there's something called as a data table you will learn how to do graphs and charts you will learn how to do auto complete okay auto completion like you would have seen in google search you start typing automatically suggestions are going to be shown to you how to do that all those kind of things are going to be part of your assignments that is 50 plus assignments will be there along with this there will be four different projects now in level 2 or the module 2 now we start talking about projects why because at the end of the day using all these technologies like javascript html css react using all of them is only when you can build a project okay so what will happen is there will be four different projects you will be doing in module 2 and while you are studying these concepts of react and advanced concepts of react you will be studying and learning these topics through projects meaning you will be building a project and then you will be understanding how a concept of react is used in building that particular project so by doing that what is happening is you are able to understand these concepts with real time examples real time scenarios where and how it will work all of that you will be able to know here now that is going to be two projects while you are doing when you are learning react and redux the next thing what will happen is there will be one project where we will be doing a live coding as in it will be a live programming project programming classes will be going on meaning we will take up a project i will be coding live you will also be connecting with me you will also be coding live with me and then i will be giving you insights as to how things are being used in the industry in much more detail that is going to be one project and now because you have a good knowledge of how to understand a requirement and build a project the fourth project will be something called as a portfolio project that is the project that you will independently work on so for this particular project before you get to this project because you have done lot of coding assignments and you have done these Uh, different projects you have a better understanding as to how to approach and how to build a project so when you are working on the portfolio project we will only be monitoring your progress like how you are doing are you doing in the right way or not and then whenever you are stuck we are there to help you out and then we'll be guiding you if you make something mistake we will tell you you know 
the code can be written better it should not be written like this so that kind of a feedback you will be given you will be given when you are doing your fourth project okay that's called as a portfolio project so does this make sense i want you to type ms if you have a better understanding of what happens during module 2 yeah okay very nice very nice we will be having a q and a session guys uh, if there is some questions that you have you can make a note of it okay and then when we get into the q and a session you can ask me and i will clarify all your doubts okay so after this is done then we get into what i would say is the most crucial part during the program now why do i say this is the most crucial part the module 3 is going to be focused on your placement training 